electronics. So nowadays we know that whether it is government organization or private organization, mostly all organizations are recruiting people through video conferencing based interviews only. That is, if you take the case of the government organizations like Bharat Electronics Limited or the private organizations like big, big MNCs, nowadays due to these COVID situations, they are hiring people only through the video conferencing or online interviews, right? So in this video, we are going to see some tips before attending the online interviews or video conferencing based interviews. I have listed out some important factors that you should know before attending these interviews. Okay, so let us see one by one. So the first thing is that finding the proper camera position. So you are attending these interviews mostly from your home only. So before attending the interview, you should always make sure that the camera is positioned in such a way that your face is visible correctly. It should not be focusing on some other object or some other things. It should be exactly facing uh, directly to your face. Okay. So finding the proper camera position is the first thing you should be uh, noting before attending the video conferencing based interviews. Otherwise, the interviewer may find this distracting, may not have an inter may not have an interest in taking the interview also. Okay. So you should be placing your camera exactly facing your face. Okay. So that is the first thing, finding the proper camera position. Okay. Second thing, make sure your Wi-Fi is proper. So this is very, very important thing. So the interview may last uh, to up to minimum half an hour or 20 minutes, right? So uh, if you are using a Wi-Fi, make sure that your Wi-Fi is proper. If your Wi-Fi is uh, not proper, it is not having enough signal strength or uh, the video conferencing based interview is not going uh, in a clear way, then again, the interviewer may find this very difficult or distracting. Uh, and also, even if you are qualified or confident enough, there are high chances that you may not get selected. Okay, so your Wi-Fi should be proper or the signal strength of the Wi-Fi should be proper. Okay, so that is the second thing. Third thing is dress properly for the interview. Even if this is a video conferencing based interview or if you are uh, attending the interview from your home only, you should make sure that the dressing code is proper. The interviewer may note that uh, what is your dressing code and everything and he will also give marks for this. Okay, So if you are uh, sitting in your casual dresses, uh, he may think that, that is the interviewer may think that you have not taken this interview in a serious way. So you should always make sure that the dress code is maintained or the dressing is proper. Okay. Sometimes some companies will also give marks for this dress code also. Okay. So don't take the dress code lightly for video conferencing based interviews. You have to make sure that even if the, uh, we, the interview is video conferencing based, you should always maintain the proper dress code. The fourth tip is that don't use distracting backgrounds and sounds. So, uh, before attending the video conferencing based interview, you should make sure that the background of your room in which you are sitting should be should not be distracting. The focus of the interviewer should be only on you and what you are saying. Okay, so that is very important that background should not be distracting and should not cause a discomfort to the interviewer or the person who are interviewing you. Okay, and also uh, talking about the background sounds, which is very important when you are uh, at your home, there will be a lot of sounds. There will be sounds of uh, electronic equipment. There will be sound of mixy, washing machine. All these things will be there. But before attending the uh, video conferencing based interview, make sure that you are at a room uh, which is at silence and there should not be any distracting sounds uh, when you are attending the video conferencing based interview. Because when you are attending uh, this uh, interviews, if you are having these sounds, uh, there have there is chances that the interviewer may drop the interview in between. Okay. So please make sure this thing, this is very important. Don't use distracting backgrounds and sounds. Okay. Next, the fifth one is maintain eye contact. So uh, when you are attending the video conferencing based interview or a interview in person, you should always maintain eye contact. You should not look to some other place in the, uh, some other place in the screen or some other place in the room. You should always maintain an eye contact with the person uh, to, towards the screen who is interviewing you okay so uh, it is very important even if it is a panel uh, consider that there is two or three people 
you should make sure that you will look into every person's eye while you are answering okay so maintain eye contact it is very important it will boost your confidence okay next sixth one is get the proper lighting in place consider that everything is proper there is no background uh, noise or sounds uh, but the lighting is not proper and the interviewer can uh, cannot see you properly means it is again distracting okay so maintain proper lighting in the place so before attending the video conferencing uh, based interviews or the online interviews you should always take care of these things that is there is no background sounds and noise the lighting is proper the camera is in fixed position or the proper position everything you should have to take care okay so this is again another important thing the lighting of the room should be proper okay the seventh tip is that be confident okay so uh, whether it is a in person interview or a video conferencing based interview you have to always be confident and uh, as i said maintaining an eye contact that is a good eye contact is actually a sign of uh, being confident okay so you have to answer the questions confidently by looking into the person's eye uh, who is asking you the questions okay so the uh, confidence level is actually a very important factor whether it is a video conferencing interview or a in person interview okay so you have to always be confident and answer the questions okay the eighth tip is that be ready with a pen and paper before the video conferencing based interview so especially if you are attending some technical rounds in the interview so there are high chances that the interviewer may ask you something uh, for which you have to work out uh, on a paper right so in this case you have to always be ready with a pen and paper whether it is an hr based interview or a technical based interview always keep a pen and paper beside you it will help you to write down something if you uh, if you want to memorize something or if you want to uh, work out something that is very important okay uh, or consider that you are going to take the pen and paper while the interviewer interview is going then this will create a very bad impact on the interviewer that you are not properly ready for the interview okay so uh, before attending the video conferencing based interview you have to keep a pen and paper ready okay so that is the next thing the ninth tip is that be ready with your certificates and resume before attending the video conferencing based interview so you should keep the copy of your resume and the certificates uh, along with you uh, before the video conferencing based interview because we know that towards the beginning of the interview the interviewer will be asking you questions uh, from the resume your likes your percentage the college and everything right so in this case if you have some doubt you can take the resume and answer i'm not telling you to read out through the resume uh, in the video conferencing based interview but you can have a quick look on to at, at least some percentage consider that the interviewer is asking you what is your aggregate uh, cgpa for this semester and suddenly you forgot exact word okay so you can just uh, have a quick look on the uh, certificate and you can answer or consider that the interviewer uh, want to know about uh, some details of the project or uh, some software you used in the project and suddenly you blanked out okay so you can have a very quick look uh, to the resume and you can answer okay i'm not telling you to take the resume in your hand and read out just have a quick look keep that thing on the table uh, on which you are sitting so you will have to quickly look and, and say the answer okay so you don't have to be blanked out or you you don't have to uh, say something and something about the answers okay so you can have a very quick look onto the resume and the certificates and you can answer okay so this will be helpful and also if you are keeping these things ready it will always boost your confidence okay so that is the next thing be ready with the certificates and resume now the last thing is that conduct a mock is mock if possible so before attending the video conferencing based interview for the first time you should always try to conduct a mock video conferencing based interview with your friend so consider that you are sitting at your home tell your uh, friend uh, to have a video call uh, through the webcam and try to attend this video conferencing based interview and while attending this video conferencing based interview always check for the lighting uh, the background uh, and also the position of the camera okay so do these things as a mock drill and while attending the real interview this will help you to boost your confidence okay 
so uh, consider that you are not uh, doing a mock or anything you are directly going to give the real interview in front of the interviewer so if your camera is not in position and everything you may find it very difficult uh, you may lose your confidence and also if the background is not proper and everything your sitting is not proper the lighting is not proper so it will always drop down your confidence and even if you are confident with the subject you may not get uh, through this interview okay so always conduct a mock interview before attending the real interview okay so this is uh, the 10th tip so i have included 10 tips in this video before attending the video conferencing based interviews because while uh, reading out the notifications of government organizations and also private organization we know that mostly all organizations are conducting the selection process only through video conferencing based interviews okay so this video conferencing based interviews are having a lot of importance nowadays especially due to this covid situation okay so that's why i thought of making such a video because all of you guys are going to sit at your homes and going to attend these video conferencing based interviews right so i'm really hoping that these 10 tips were useful please make sure at least about these 10 tips before attending the interviews okay so that's all about this video i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and please do subscribe to the channel the subscription is free 70 percent of the people are still watching the channel without subscribing to it so if you are finding these videos useful please do subscribe to the channel so that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching